What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. In this video, I'm going to show how you can extract your various passes that you have exported from Blender in your multi-layer OpenEXR format so that you can use them to composite your shots instead of After Effects effectively. In the last video, I showed how you can export these various passes in the multi-layer OpenEXR format from Blender and use those OpenEXR sequences in Blender if you're going to composite it using Blender's node-based workflow. However, I know some of you guys use After Effects and I thought I'd just share this quick tip with you guys. So here we are inside of After Effects the first thing I want to do is import our uh, video footage as well as our open EXR render of our uh, castle scene here. So I'll just go to file and import and I'll grab our live action shot here and open that one. And then I'll once again go to file and import and I will find our OpenEXR sequence here. I'll select the first frame of it, make sure that your checkbox is selected for your OpenEXR sequence and click on open. And right off the bat, one thing you're going to want to do is make sure your frame rate is correct up here in the top left for your image sequence. So I know in Blender we had our project at 23.976 frames per second and our live action shot here is also 23.976 as well. So we want to match our OpenEXR sequence to this uh, frame rate as well so that our camera track of the 3d object will match our live action footage so i'll just go ahead and right click our image sequence here i'll go to interpret footage and then main and i will change this frame rate to 23.976 and okay and now I'll just drag our image sequence to this new composite. And you'll notice right off the bat that all we get is a black screen here. So this is where we need to extract all of those passes that we have actually exported. But uh, first I'll just grab our live action shot here as well and add it to our composition and make sure that I'm starting at the right point here for our render. Just double check that real quick. All right, so one thing you're going to want to do for your multi-layer OpenEXR sequence is uh, linearize your workspace for your project. So before we do anything, I just want to click on this uh, project settings uh, button here and I want to go to color and make sure that the checkbox for linearize working space is selected. And I'm going to want under working space to select this uh, srgb setting here and this is just to make sure that the monitor that we're using is effectively outputting the right colors so go ahead and select that there and click on ok and i also want to check the color management of the opening xr sequence as well so i'll just right click here go to interpret footage main once again go to color management and make sure that the srgb profile is selected here so that's looking good now it's time to extract our data from this file so in our project here i'll select our opening xr layer here and i'll just go to effect and then under 3d channel we'll click on extractor and now as you can see here if i click under the layers drop down menu we can see all of the different passes that we have exported from blender so I'll just choose the castle combined for now and this is just our combined beauty pass and I'll just relabel our file here we'll call this beauty pass pass castle and now we can continue our process and start overlaying our different passes and adjusting them accordingly so say for a very simple composite we just want to use our beauty pass and then our shadow right below our castle here I'll just go ahead and press command D and duplicate this layer and I will rename it here I'll call it shadow pass castle and under the extractor settings for this layer i will select the castle shadow combined and uh, now as you can see here our shadow is uh, overlaid on top of our footage however obviously it should be below our castle so i'll just move this right below our castle here and now we're starting to composite our various passes together so essentially this is how you can extract your passes obviously you know maybe we want to add our ambient occlusion next so we'll call this one AO pass castle and then I'll select the ambient occlusion and then I'll choose the multiply view layer and I'm not sure why there's no alpha channel here but an easy fix for that is just to go to effect king extract and just drag the black level over a tiny bit and now we have that nice ambient occlusion on our castle and we can start combining our different passes here and uh, one more thing I should mention is it's important to check the unmultiply uh, setting on all of your layers so make sure that's selected so that uh, any areas of transparency that might have some blur on them or something are not rendered out as black and don't create some weird artifacts. But this is the general process on how you can extract your different passes that you have exported from Blender in your multi-layer opening XR sequences. I'm not going to go into the whole entire compositing process here because that's a whole nother tutorial. But uh, obviously you would change the mode for each uh, pass that you add depending on what you want to enhance and uh, you know play around with color correction and all of that good stuff. But just a short After Effects quick tip for you guys today i hope this video was helpful as always feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below lots more longer blender visual effects tutorials coming very soon i'll see you next time